So my name is Matthew Ong. Yes, I am a law professor at Cleveland State with a decade of legal experience across both criminal and civil litigation. And I'm running for Cuyahoga County Prosecutor because I believe that we can create justice for all in Cuyahoga County. Now justice is a lot of different things. Justice includes educational security, which I fought for while teaching low-income and first-generation students at Tri-C, and as a special education lawyer, representing parents whose children were being denied accommodations. But justice is also rehabilitation, success upon re-entry, and healthy communities, which I fought for as a public defender. Now the big truth is that we create justice for all when we think big about what our communities need, and when we seek to prevent crime, not just react to it. Unfortunately, this is not how our prosecutor's office has been working. Over the last five years, as you heard earlier, Cuyahoga County has tried nearly as many children as adults as the rest of Ohio combined. 92% of those children are black. Over that same five-year span, Cuyahoga County has issued more death sentences than any other county in the United States, in the entire country. Mm. Over that same year, uh, uh, Cuyahoga County also leads the state by a wide margin in confirmed wrongful convictions. And yet, despite that history, when somebody finds new evidence of their innocence and their release from prison after 20 or 30 or even 45 years, mm. This prosecutor's office has chosen to take those people back to trial on their original decades-old charges. A lot of this stems from something that Ms. Coleman alluded to earlier, overcharging, which is sort of the original sin of the prosecutor's office. You char the prosecutor's office has been charging anything that they possibly can in order to try to coerce people to take plea bargains just to get out of jail. And so you end up with folks pleading to things that they didn't even commit. And that crumbles our communities, and it leaves us all less safe. This is O'Malley's mess that we're living in. We have an elected official who does not understand the data and the research about what actually addresses and prevents crime. We have an elected official who pursues policies that worsen racial disparities and keeps us all less safe. We have an elected official who sees fit to blame anybody but himself for the rising crime that we've seen under his watch or when anything does not go his way. Now, of course, part of the reason that we've seen this kind of thing happen for years and years is because we have a Democratic Party system that oftentimes discourages challengers. I was very proud that on January 6th of this year, we were able to block the incumbent prosecutor from getting the Democratic Party endorsement. It is a level playing field. And I think this is a great thing. I think folks should, people should decide, right? They have to grapple with the really important criminal justice issues that touch every corner of our society. But my opponent thought otherwise. In the 72 hours after that meeting, he made public statements to the media in quick succession, blaming the chair of the Cuyahoga County Democratic Party, all young people and progressives, uh, the entire cities of Bay Village and Lyndhurst because they were too safe and didn't understand crime, and finally Tamir Rice's mother. This is the kind of this is the kind of yes, whenever something doesn't go his way. Just last week. We had a forum with Greater Cleveland Congregations. Uh, my opponent decided not to show up because he didn't like one of the draft questions. But instead of showing up and saying, hey, here's why I disagree with this premise, what he said instead in his public press release was this church group is trying to extort me. Mm. Right. We need an actual adult in this office. Somebody who understands <laughs> and the discretion and restraint and good judgment that they need in order to uplift our communities, to heal our communities, to provide support to victims and defendants who are charged with low-level nonviolent crimes. Right now, we don't have that. We can do better. As your prosecutor, 
I will target the crimes that harm our community, build an office in the people's interest, work to break the cycle of trauma, and support rehabilitation through services. That is how we build justice for all. It's what people have been asking for, it's what our community deserves, and it's what our community needs. So I hope that you will vote for me, Matthew Vaughn, and that's spelled A-H-N, on or before March 19th. I have some cards as well, so you can remember how to spell my funny name. I am happy to take any questions, if there are any. These are really complicated and really important issues. Um, I know I can't cover them all in sort of a three-minute speech, so. Uh.